you budgeted it all aggressively either this year or last year and were disappointed, I can understand why you'd be inclined to be cautious about budgeting for next year. But let me make the case for poking your head out of your sandbag bunker and taking a fresh look at the housing market. Do that and you'll see that every single important economic metric for housing that you'd want to be up is up and that every single metric that you want to be down is in fact declining. Going up are housing prices almost everywhere, new and existing home sales, housing starts and permits, housing affordability, it's at the highest level since at least 1971, consumer and builder confidence, household formations, remodeling activity, and apartment rents. Going down are unemployment, finally below 8%, foreclosure rates, apartment vacancy rates, the inventory of unsold existing and new homes, they're at the lowest level ever, and mortgage interest rates, they're also at the lowest level ever. But maybe you subscribe to the theory that statistics lie and liars use statistics. If that's the case, then consider this. Your customers, builders big and small, single family and multifamily, remodelers, residential and commercial architects, and building products dealers are for the first time in a very long time decidedly optimistic. In the last 60 days, Hanley Woods surveyed more than 3,000 of your customers, and about two-thirds indicated they expected their company revenue to increase by 10% or more next year. Builders were the most optimistic, estimating they would start 20% more units in 2013. Overall, those surveyed saw remodeling, move-up housing, and multifamily construction as the biggest areas of opportunity. And get this, fewer than 10% of those surveyed expected their businesses to decline next year. If you'd like to see a copy of the executive summary of the research and or a full set of the tabular results, send me an email, fanton at handleywood.com. I think it will boost your confidence about where housing is headed in 2013.